Hello everybody, in this lesson we will introduce and show how to use Adobe's new experimental technology called Wallaby. Wallaby is a technology that Adobe is developing which will convert the art and animations in an FLA file to its HTML programmed equivalent. So it will render out SVG and JavaScript required to give you an HTML equivalent of an FLA animation and art. Now this is Wallaby as it stands today and as you guys know technology moves fast so look forward to this changing pretty rapidly especially if the Flash and HTML community want to see more of this kind of thing. So as it stands today, which like I said these things will change pretty rapidly, it's just an experimental beta technology today. That means they're testing it out, they're getting feedback from users and things like that. And today, it currently requires CS5 FLA files. So if you have CS4 FLA files or CS3 FLA files, you will not get the HTML rendered. Only CS5 Flash files. And it's not fully compatible with HTML5 yet. Which HTML5 isn't even fully released as a working standard yet on the web. So you don't even have to worry too much about that yet. But I'm sure that's all going to be fixed because it's all beta. Wallaby's all beta right now, so a lot of things are going to be changing. But those are three key things that you want to keep in mind. It's in beta technology right now, so it's not an officially released software. It currently requires CS5 FLA files, and it's not fully compatible with HTML5 yet. Okay, now we'll show you where to get Wallaby so you can download it and play with it. So I'll zoom in on this URL real good, BPA, so you guys can see it real well. And I will also put it in the video's description area. So you just click this box here, and you can see it just came out March 8, 2011, was the pre-release. So once you tick that box, you'll have two options here, download for Mac or download for Windows. I'm using Google Chrome, so when I select download for Windows, it's going to start downloading the file here. And you can see my green bars going around, and it's almost done. It's 13.5 megabytes. If you download for Mac, it's a little bit larger than that. Okay, my download's complete. I'm going to show in folder. So this is where it's going to wind up on your computer. So whatever browser you're using, you download the file to your computer. And I'm just going to cut it from there, and I'm just going to get it on my desktop. I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to double click it. Run. And now we're going to set some options here. Add shortcut to my desktop I want. Now I'm not going to start it after installation. First I'm going to create a flash animation, then we'll start it up and convert that flash animation. And that's the location, so continue. Yes, I will allow that. So now it's installing the Wallaby application. Click finish. Now I'm going to open up flash. Okay, now remember I said you got to have flash CS5. Some of you guys are going to try and do it with CS4 and CS3 and it's not going to work for you yet. So I'm going to create new ActionScript 3 file. I'm going to go into the shapes, grab oval primitive, I'm going to draw it to the stage. Now once drawn, I'm going to right click it. I'm going to convert to symbol, movie clip, OK. I'm just going to animate that little movie clip. I'm going to go to frame 40, then I'm going to go to frame 80. I'm going to go to create classic tween there, right click here, create classic tween. So what I did was on frame 40, I pressed F6 to create a new keyframe, and then frame 80, I created a new keyframe. And then I just right clicked in between those and create classic tween. Now all I have to do is go to frame 40 and select this item and move it. That way it'll animate. So I'm just going to take it from here and put it over here. Simple drag will do or you can use your arrow keys or the numbers for positioning. Let's press control enter and see what we have. Very simple animation of a blue ball going back and forth. And it's going to loop on itself because there's no stop action. Very simple file. I'm going to go to file save as to my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. Call it blue ball. Inside that folder I'm going to name this flash CS5 document blue ball. Save. Now I can close flash. I'm done. Alright, now here's my little wallaby icon that I have on my desktop. After I installed it, I'm going to double click it. I'm going to go to Browse. I'm going to select an FLA file from my desktop, the one that's called Blue Ball, right there in that folder. And I'm going to press Convert. Now it's going to allow you to name the converted output file. I'm just going to put Blue Ball HTML dot HTML. I'm going to save it. 
and it should render everything out and say status blueball.fla conversion successful. So now let's go into that folder here called blue ball. Now you can see along with the FLA file there's a whole lot of other things now and they have a name of blue ball HTML. Let's open up the blue ball HTML .html file. So when you open this file you'll see the animation going back and forth and that is not a flash file. So if you right click it you'll see that there's no flash involved. It's all JavaScript. Now to understand how these things are animating you're gonna have to understand JavaScript and this system uses jQuery to animate things and to load and unload things. So you open up your blue ball HTML JavaScript file and the jQuery file that's just like any other jQuery file. There's nothing different or special about that one except that it's 1.4.2. But you want to look at the functions inside of this blue ball HTML JavaScript file and then you can also let's open this with Dreamweaver and I'll show you what the inside of blueball HTML HTML looks like let's go to code and you can see there's the code for it it's calling in the jQuery file and it's also calling in the blueball HTML JS file so both of those scripts are available to this HTML file. And you can see the div class wallaby movie and then div class wallaby underscore one. That's how those scripts communicate to these divs. And you can see the image is an asset which is in the folder here, right here. That's an SVG asset in order to render out the little blue ball. And that's pretty much it. So you just study the files and you can get a little bit of an understanding how. JavaScript is working when it converts a flash animation. So remember, after you convert, there's no flash involved at all. It's all HTML and JavaScript. Okay, guys, so there's your introductory tutorial to Wallaby, Adobe's brand new experimental technology for converting flash animation and artwork to HTML.